and welcome to my seventh vlog, I guess. <laughs> Friday is vlog day. Now we're ready to start the new adventure. So I'm preparing myself, then I pack my video stuff because I got a, um, a message from a former colleague whose wife is Italian and uh, she has a PhD and is the chief medical officer of a big company and she has a project which is called Women's Brain Project and what this project um, deals with is that uh, all um, medicines, drugs, operations, surgeries, whatever are always mainly tested on male patients and nobody just thought about what, how does a female body with completely different hormones and processes and, and structures react to those. And it's not only a question of the size of the body, well, you could say, okay, if a woman is less tall than a man, you reduce the, the quantity, um, because there are also tall men and less tall men. It is really a question of of how the body reacts and the female body is different than a male body. So this whole argument is very interesting for me. She is having, she is giving an interview in front of a um, group of university students of S University of St. Gallen. The whole thing will be in Zurich which is why I'm going to Zurich and stay with my daughter. And I, so I offered to take my small, cheap equipment and at least take some footage of the event. And maybe then we could uh, place it on, at least on her website. And my daughter will join us too. So yeah, this is the plan. Then um, we will stay in Zurich. I guess tomorrow which is Saturday and maybe Sunday so or Saturday or Sunday we will come back here and then on Wednesday she will go back to Switzerland to, to, to Zurich so ready to load the car That's my stuff. Dressing <clears throat> and filming. Now I go pick up the plants. kilometers by now I guess and uh, wherever I have the window open you can smell a very very intense smell of pig poop and pee which the farmers throw spray on, on the fields <laughs> and if you if you live in a, in a rural area you know that when the farmers 
spray this poop and pee, it means that it will rain soon. Which weather forecast is telling since days that it, it will rain. But they have their own, I don't know if it's platforms or it's their, how they know. But apparently they know. So all farmers are spraying out the stinky stuff. And this makes me know that tomorrow, latest, it will rain. I was elected a woman of the year in Switzerland in a business magazine, which was far away from medicine, but it changed completely everything. Um, thank you so, so much for sharing your insights yes. and your knowledge. It's been amazing. Thank you, everyone, and I wish you a lot of luck and you might shine as you deserve. Thank you. Thank you. Ciao. Good morning. My morning. My daughter is sitting there and she said I'm not allowed to show her because she looks disgusting, as she said. I can't prove her wrong because I respect her will. So um, that's why I, every now and then I look there. Hello. So yeah, yesterday we went to this interview. It was a bit of a rush or a lot of a rush because there was a traffic jam or several on the highway. And then I got here at her apartment and just changed quickly and rushed down and picked her up and then there were other traffic jams to go to the location but um, thankfully my daughter parked the car while I ran in and um, yeah I just uh, went in and started recording the interview there was a little apero how it's called here in, in Switzerland so little something to eat, something to drink and have a chat. Today we have no no special project, nothing DIY to do. But I wanted to show show you because I, I mentioned in my in one of the videos before of the vlogs. Um, she has uh, found out that she has a passion for plants. When when she was a child, whenever I said, look at this beautiful flower, look at this little plant, look at this, she always said, yeah, yeah, whatever. And now <laughs> she's got infected by the virus. King Charles is officially King Charles. King Charles is officially King Charles. Okay, so um, if you didn't know, today is coronation day and I said we have to to watch at least a little part of it because it's a, a historic moment but we both had the problem that we don't like him as a person even if I really admire his um, engagement for nature and and uh, ecology so that is a plus for me and uh, i think he he's trying to to somehow make monarchy a bit more modern and spend less money so the list of in in the invitees invitees mm -hmm. what <laughs> invited people um, is much shorter than it was at his mother's coronation and he asked um, those peers who are coming not to take the 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 robes with um, the fur on it but to dress in a modern way so his respect for the animal and, and natural world is something that I like. But still, what I saw of him, mainly I must say from his, in, in, it was not his coronation, it was his 
where he was defined, pro proclaimed king, there are some attitudes that remind me of a person I didn't like. And I didn't like that. It's just attitude. I don't like attitude. You know this. I am the king. I am. I don't like this pen. Bring me a pen that works with this face. Okay. And we don't like Camilla. Personal opinion. And I it, it, it didn't even like Diana at that time as a person. So the image of the person, because it, of course I didn't know her. So it's not an adoration for Diana that brings me to not like Camilla. I just don't like her. And I think every time I see Queen Camilla, I think it's it's wrong. It's Queen Consort. I refuse to say the Queen part. She is yeah, me Consort too. Camilla. Yeah, I, I, it's Camilla. I guess she will always stay Camilla and never be really king, queen in in the mind of people. But anyhow, just a personal opinion of a non-British person. Anyhow, we have lots of babies here and I will show you some of them, green babies. So let me turn the camera. Okay, so Victoria will show you the babies. Yes, so there are some lemon babies here that need to need to be transplanted soon. There is some more lemon, and there is no more lemon, and also there is the this one. lemon baby that I gave to my mother for Mother's Day. Um, then there is the, oh, what is it called? Bay leaf, bay leaf, that I am trying to propagate, but it's not propagating. I, I think it's coming here. Is it? I don't know, but I, uh, there might sure. be something happening. Yes, then there are some pothos babies that I have transplanted and as you can see they're growing little babies here and there. Then there's this one which I found in, well my mom found in another plant and I propagated and it's going good now. <coughs> Here's my little avocado and the side there you can see that it's green. I just transplanted this one yesterday, my orchid that I had to save from death because I neglected her. Um, then there's a little, oh what is it called? A pea. Mm, not sure. Uh, my mom will put in the name on the comment. And then there's the full grown version of that. Pelia. It's a Pelia. There you go. That's the full grown version of this one. Or, well, it's not full grown. This is actually a baby. This is a newborn. Infant, actually. <laughs> and there are some that I'm trying to propagate, but they're not doing too well. In here, there are some apple seeds that I uh, grew. Then here is a little, I'm not sure what their name is. But they've got roots down there and then here is one small part of my purple passion passion plant there we go and i'll show them the full grown plants as well because i'm proud of them this is my monstera she was doing not super well lately because she grew a little bit of mold so i had to transplant her but she's doing good and she has a new little leaf that's hopefully gonna pop soon there's my mother orange juice yes uh, here's just a ficus. I don't actually know what kind of ficus because I got it before my plant era. That, that was the very first plan for this apartment. And I got it at Ikea and also in Ikea it actually uh, fell down. So yeah. <laughs> Anyways, this is another pothos. I'm not sure what kind because it's not the ice queen or white queen pothos. It's not that one, but it's white and very pretty. Here's the bigger purple passion that is doing very good. And growing tall it was like this tall when i first got it so it's grown a lot then there's the other half of the white pothos that's over here and my little my little polka dot then it's growing another leaf right there is it gonna come soon and then there's this baby which is a ficus abijan that i got for seven francs because at the plant store they labeled him wrong and usually these are very expensive oh the door Usually they're very expensive, but uh, they labeled him wrong, and so I got him for seven francs, which is awesome. And then here is my big pothos that I got very early, and now it's very big and has a lot of little babies here and and there and there as well. So that is very nice. These are my little babies. They're One thing that 
everybody of us has to do every now and then is to de defrost the freezer or the freezer compartment in the fridge. And I know that there officially are uh, freezers that defrost themselves automatically. I, I never found one. Let me know if you have one. I never found one. So after more than a year now that my daughter is living in this apartment, her freezing compartment in the fridge is full of ice, so now we are defrosting it. The unconventional way, I know. So first of all, you have to take out all the stuff. What I learned is to take one of these baking trays. Mm -hmm. And then it's important to, if possible, not use metal to scrap it. But at a certain point, you might be forced to. So to make it defrost quicker, I just use a hair dryer. step after having taken out all this water and ice there you go is to dry it up And actually, I have some more space, which is nice because I barely have space in this. Things are very small. So, yeah. And then I forgot there are some plants outside. So, this is the avocado that is doing better, but it was dying on me a while ago. Um, my mom gave me this one, and then also the olive that is doing all right. It's doing all right. Oh, look at that. There's little babies there. Are these olive babies? Look. Yeah. Are, are these gonna be olives? Yes. <gasps> Crazy. Also there? Yeah, there are a few of them. Yes, and then and in there. Yeah, there's another one actually. <laughs> and then in there, the little soil that looks different right there. There are some blueberries under there that hopefully will grow, grow into blueberry trees. And there are the plants that my mom brought me from Italy. Here's the little um, basil and sage, which I, which I keep mistaking for uh, lavender, but it's not. It's sage. Are we sure? Yes, that is sage. And then there's this beautiful little bushy rosemary, which looks very nice and strong. And there's the mint that my mom got me from my grandma's mint tree, which is very pretty as well. And then here's the bay leaf plant that my mom got me, because mine is, as you saw, not propagating. And then there's the lavender, which I keep mistaking for sage, but it's not, it's lavender. <laughs> and then there's this beautiful big um eucalyptus tree that my mom got for quite cheap in italy i'm quite happy about that because in switzerland this would have cost me a lot so it's nice that my mom got such a cheap one that is so big so yeah that's the plant so the pot is up it's really a big pot um quick change and we are going to the gardening shop to pick up some plastic foil for the pot and some tool, a little tool, I don't need the fork, so she can work on the earth which is in there. And then we'll come back. That's the whoop street. Whoop. Uh. Oh. at the shop 
This last time. No, no plans, no plans, no, no plans, no, no plans. Okay, then, and you have something to kneel on, which is helpful too. Then I think you need some gloves, gardening gloves. And um, Midai, three pots of those, the big one, bigger one, so I can put them in. The pot is really big and it was full of earth and of dry plants so it took out everything and then the foil below was old and full of holes so we replaced it and then we filled it up with uh, old and new soil and, and then we planted the plants but it took a while and um, it became dark as you will see. Yesterday we worked on the planter on the balcony until it was pitch dark. So, um, and we finally stopped. <laughs> and uh, now it's, as we didn't do the cleaning of the house yesterday, I already cleaned the windows this morning, before breakfast. So proud of me. And the little one is already went, has already went out to take care of the last two ones that she didn't plant yesterday. And uh, I guess just enjoy what we did. And then I guess that was it. And we will go together home to stay in my place. So yeah. Um, I'll show you just on a quick view the result on the balcony. There she is with all her babies. Say hi world. 
Cherry tomatoes, blueberries. And there we have the old sage that was in the pot, but as you've seen, we emptied it completely and it looks promising. There are green leaves. The new sage, lavender, mint from home in Italy, oregano, if it survives, parsil from home, basil, rosemary, and the old rosemary. And this is the avocado that I gave her that I had risen. Cleaned everything yesterday as far as possible. Oh, what's that? Cucumbers. Cucumbers. Cucumis sativus. I didn't know it's called cucumis. Cucumber seeds. What does it remind to you? Cucumber seeds remind us of a day where, because we always had au pairs, which in most cases were girls, but oh, one, okay. Okay. was it one or two times? I don't remember. We had a au pair boy. Yeah, what? A male au pair. A male au pair. And um, Natalia was three or four years old and she ate a cucumber, a piece of, and she found the seed, of course. And she put it on her hand and went to him and said, look, I lost a teeth. A tooth. And he looked at her hand, looked at her, and seriously said, That's not a tooth, that's a cucumber seed. The moment when you realize that somebody taking care of your child is not the right person. So, this is. Um, one of the family legends whenever we see a cucumber seed that pops up in our mind. What I totally forgot, because it's not important for me, but today's Mother's Day here. And not only I got this little lemon baby on Friday already because it was packed so it needed light, so she gave it to me when I arrived because my lemons are very sad at home, as you know. But today she gave me this. Three seed bumps, bumps to make bees happy. So today or tomorrow we will seed them in the nature area in my garden. I'm so happy about it. Thank you, honey. Theoretically now we are done and can prepare ourselves and go to our other home. So, four o'clock in the afternoon. Yeah. I'm not talking to you. Oh, I'm sorry. We're ready to go. And I don't know why. I really don't know. But This and this is what we're taking with us. So plants to be replanted in new pots, so paper and carton and plastics for the recycling that I have at home which costs nothing. Meanwhile, here, if you only have 10 grams of carton or whatever, 30 Swiss francs. So we have uh, garbage tourism here, recycling tourism. So yeah, bring everything down to the garage and then um, pack the cars and leave to Fiat Cinquecento on the highway.
So baby lemon is in the car. Both cars are packed. Thank you for your company. I hope you liked our few days in Zurich and back home. If you liked it, please leave a like, subscribe to my channel and as always, be kind.